Today, with courtesy from Acer who are sponsoring this video, we are taking a look at a laptop that's pretty interesting and unlike anything else in the past. This is the Acer Swift 3X, and at first glance, it might not look any different, but what makes it special is under the hood. This is one of the first few laptops to feature the new Intel Iris XC Max graphics, and yes, we are definitely going to talk about it. Now, if you're in the market to look for a lightweight laptop to use as your daily driver, the Swift 3X is an option to consider. You have the option to choose from either Steam Blue or what we have here, Safari Gold. To give it a little bit of flair and character, the hinge is of a different color, Cyan. In any case, no matter which you choose, both colors are looking really nice and they offer a smooth matte finish, so you won't have to worry about fingerprints at all. Open it up and you'll get a 14-inch IPS display that has a full HD resolution and covers 100% sRGB. Needless to say, it's a great panel that provides a solid experience, be it for casual use like web browsing or slightly heavier use like photo or video editing or even gaming. Apart from the standard webcam, keyboard and trackpad, the Swift 3X does also feature a fingerprint sensor, which is a really nice touch. It's easy for authentication and is probably the method you would want to use most to log into your account. Now, despite being a lightweight laptop, the Swift 3X still does feature quite a number of ports. On the right, you get a standard 3.5mm combo jack, a full-size USB 3.2 and a Kensington lock slot. On the left, you get your DC power port, HDMI, another USB 3.2 and last but not least, Thunderbolt 4. This laptop also comes equipped with a 58.7 watt hour battery that can last you up to 17.5 hours of use. So a more realistic number would be around 10 hours of actual use. But if you still run out during the day, you'll be glad to know that you can also fast charge the Swift 3X. With 30 minutes of charge time, you can get up to 4 hours of use. Lastly, this laptop also comes with Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0, which we would say is a must-have when choosing a daily driver in this day and age. So that was a short overview of the design of the Swift 3X along with its functions and features that comes along with it. But now let's talk about what really makes this special, and that has to be the Intel Iris XE Max graphics that's inside this laptop. The Swift 3X that we have right here sports the Intel Core i7 1165G7, 16GB of RAM, a 1TB NVMe SSD, and of course, the Intel Iris XE Max graphics. First up, the main difference between the standard Iris XE graphics that comes integrated with the CPU and the Iris XE Max graphics comes down to two things. A higher clock speed frequency of 1.65GHz and the addition of 4GB of dedicated LPDDR4X graphics memory. This basically means that on paper, the Iris XE Max is slightly more powerful than the integrated Iris XE. But what's more interesting is how Intel Deep Link ties the CPU and the GPU together to really make use of that enhanced performance. There are three main functions to Intel Deep Link. The first is dynamic power share, where the system is able to intelligently route power between the CPU and GPU to boost performance depending on what you are working on. So if a specific application requires more CPU power at any point in time, the system would reduce the power to the GPU and reroute that same amount of power to the CPU instead, giving it the boost that it needs. It also works the other way around, so it's vice versa. Compared to the traditional fixed and predefined power limits for CPU and GPU that are independent of one another, this technology bridges the two and allows either chip to fully flex its potential within the same power limit of the laptop. Based on Intel, you can expect up to 20% better CPU performance or up to 40% better GPU performance with dynamic power share. Needless to say, this is also a smart automated technology that runs in the background, so you enjoy the benefits of it without even doing anything. The second is Additive AI, and this is pretty straightforward. In any supported applications which make use of AI, Iris XE Max is able to provide faster performance compared to systems paired with a comparable third-party GPU such as an NVIDIA MX350. In any supported applications which make use of AI, Iris XE Max is able to provide faster performance compared to systems paired with a comparable third-party GPU such as an NVIDIA MX350. The third and last of this initiative is hyperencode, and just like the name suggests, encoding is now much faster. 
Intel claims up to 1.78 times faster encoding compared to a full-blown RTX 2080 using NVENC, against their own new DeepLink AI media encoders built right inside Iris XE Max for a multi-stream scenario. Now to be fair, all that we have just shown you are internal results that come directly from Intel themselves, so do take that with a grain of salt. The reason that we ourselves are unable to do any kind of the same testing is because we do not have the necessary equipment to do it, but also because the support for Intel Iris XA Max is not as widespread as of yet, and we do not have access to the developer versions of the software that it currently supports or are going to support. At the moment, there are a few applications which make use of DeepLink, with the more prominent ones being OBS and Handbrake, but that's about it. With that said, however, we did still run our standard benchmarks using DaVinci Resolve, and the results are pretty promising. The 10-minute 1080p edit took about 35 minutes to render, while the 15-minute 4K edit took about 1 hour and 12 minutes to render, in comparison to the Intel Core i7 1165G7 with the standard Iris XE integrated graphics, the render times are definitely faster. And if you're interested in the gaming side of things, CSGO runs pretty decent at 1080p with high settings and average 60 frames per second. Devil May Cry 5 is much more demanding, yet we were able to run it at 1080p medium and average about 41 frames per second. Genshin Impact was also a pretty enjoyable experience at 1080p medium, averaging around 48 frames per second. It is very similar to the standard Iris XE and can definitely provide an entry-level gaming experience at 1080p, even more so if you're totally fine with 30 frames per second. If you're worried about temperatures, you won't have to either, because both the CPU and GPU average 75 degrees Celsius in both creative and gaming workloads for the most part. Overall, Intel Iris XE Max is looking quite promising. There is definitely that slight uplift in performance compared to the standard Iris XE, and with how Intel is building an entire ecosystem around the chip, it should get better with time, and might prove to be advantageous in comparison to Nvidia or AMD, especially within the entry-level graphics segment for laptops. Acer has also done a great job with the Swift 3X, being able to provide ample performance in a lightweight chassis, yet without any drawbacks in terms of thermals. Well, that was a look at the Acer Swift 3X with the new Intel Iris XE Max graphics. If you have any questions, drop us a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to us, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Till the next one. See ya!